Hi, this is Hyun Suk Yoon, and welcome back to the SEIR model tutorial using Numerous Model Builder. In this tutorial, we're going to use the contiguous SEIR model we made from the last tutorial to make a batch run of infective individuals under different beta values. So basically, we're going to try to replicate the figure 3a in our paper. Um, this is going to be very similar to the tutorial 1 that we did, um, making the batch run with the logistic curve, so it's going to be very familiar with you. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. First, this is the continuous model we made. And we're going to now set up the parameter beta into this parameter bar on your left. So we're going to put beta, then put value of 0.0, .0 and add it. And then the beta is now added to the parameter set. And notice that I erased um, beta parameter in the canvas. Um, that's because if we have two beta values here and here, um, numerous is going to get confused because there is going to be two terms with same name. So that's not good. So we raise one of them here. And I change the sign setting to 50. And now we're going to launch. And that brings us to batch, to the dashboard. And we're going to click on batch runs. And sometimes it's bunched up like this. So make sure you grab it and drag it up. And we're going to click new graph. Reduce this a little bit and go to configure, choose variables. Um, we're going to select variables I and then exit out. So that's the infective individuals. And we're going to configure batch run. Beta is in the parameter set, so it shows up. We're going to number of runs is going to be six. Initial value is going to be 0 0.35. And final value is going to be 0 0.4. And yep, it automatically makes the values depending on how many runs you make with same intervals. So check that out. And now we, we have different color codes for different beta values with, um, for the infective population. All right, now we're going to run this. And there you go. Same figure as 3A. So that's it. That's pretty much it. Pretty simple, nothing too fancy. And in the next tutorial, we're gonna now build the model in a discrete time frame. Um, things are gonna look quite different when it's in a different time frame. So tune into the next one, and I'll see you next time.